You may have once seen an interpol stasis chamber on Java and tried it yourself on Bedrock Edition, but the problem is, when you try it, the problem is projectile physics are not the same as they are on Java on Bedrock Edition, which um, doesn't allow for you to do interpol stasis chambers in the same way, but I'll show you the way to bypass that and build your own one in Bedrock Edition. It just requires a bit more resources. These here are all the stuff you'll need to build this. And so you just collect them up. And the first thing you're going to want to do is place four blocks this way. And then go over here and place two here, three over here, and then one here. Now grab your sticky pistons and dig these two blocks here and place them here like this. Place three blocks here and three blocks here. Grab two soul sand and then place them on the pist the sticky pistons like that. And then you are going to want to grab the water buckets and also staircases. Place the staircases as I do like this and then grab your water buckets and waterlog these stairs. I accidentally waterlogged the soul sand but that doesn't matter. Then grab your honey blocks. This is what is going to keep the... Um, enderpearl in place and put a temporary block there and then place these up here like this and you need eight there like that and then place all these blocks around it on the back like this you can choose whatever side you want to be the back but just place them all up like this now mine these two blocks under here and then mine these blocks here like this and wait i put the chest in the wrong spot doesn't matter how much redstone you need, you just need enough. Place three redstone like that, then dig out this area and grab your comparators and place one comparator like this and one comparator like this and redstone here and then dig this out and then add one block there and then one here and then add the button on that. You can add it from further away but you're going to need chunk loaders which are in a different which um, may be complex and you need to add them but now stand in the middle throw your end pearl down like this and it should get stuck in this state here where um it just bounces up and down and cannot move and because um you have the comparators here making the pulse extender you should teleport through like this and you can see here it works and it also looks pretty cool too that when you throw it like here that you can see the ender pearl projectile is actually quite big and you can just see it bouncing up and down there so yeah that's how you build an ender pearl stasis chamber on bedrock edition